must be the bloodiest movie I've ever seen. Oh, I'd do it all again. Would you? Even swimming through the bodies? I'm still trying to get it off. <laughs> <laughs>是说现在电影的小女孩都不能信了吗？去年才有挚友梅根边跳舞边砍杀杀，这回换是写芭蕾一秒变脸好吃惊。看完电影看到小女孩都要闪远点，哎，不是，是绝对要给拍摄十年
this must be the brightest movie I've ever seen. Was there any day you were not in co covered in blood and were super dry and clean? I mean, the very beginning. Very beginning. We we get progressively <laughs> more bloody and gross as the movie goes on. So some of those early scenes, we were pretty pretty clean. Mm -hmm. well, you were still covered in tattoos. I was always dirty. <laughs> the character is dirty. She's, She's just dirty. kind of grindy yeah. girl. Yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. just coding. She doesn't really shower. <laughs> Never. No. She smelled good though. You know she had like Chanel number no. five on. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Anything interesting story behind the scene about the blood or nightmares about that you could share with us? No nightmares. No just, nightmares. Just a dream come true making this movie really. Aww. It was. It was really surprisingly fun. I had no expectations and I love I love everybody and this movie. I'd never seen that much blood on a set. And they had these special blood cannons that any time a character came to a grisly end, I'm trying not to spoil it, there were just huge explosions of blood all over the set. And they would pack these things and it was so exciting to watch. You can really open your eyes and do all the acting with light, right? Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, you gotta, you gotta clear it out because that stuff will sting. Uh, it's not real blood and it's usually like, kind of sugary in texture, so it, it, it stings pretty good. <laughs> Watching Melissa when they did the explosion, and you see the blood not only hit her in the face, but then it hits the camera. And so I can imagine the viewer like, whoa, what's going on here? So it's just been a, it was just an amazing film. Because it was such a long reset, it was like, hopefully we would get it in that first take. And so there was so much expectation on this huge explosion of blood. And that was pretty memorable. Catherine, why on earth was the sticky thing all over you? Did it smell or taste any good? It tasted like bananas. Because it was banana. <laughs> they mushed wow. up banana with blood and put it all in Catherine's hair and she smelled of banana. I smell like a fresh smoothie. <laughs> and how long did you need to soak and swing in that pool? Um, it was about a day. I'm just really enjoying it. This is so fun! So was it easy to wash it out? It was easy to wash out because I had five people helping me. <laughs> um, <laughs> It was there a while. It was. It was. It's been a part of me ever since. I'm still trying to get it off. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the real location really helps. All those rooms are really creepy to me. Did you stay on set more than you needed to feel the vibe, or you just couldn't wait to go back to the hotel? Well, we had a moment where Matt and Tyler takes us to the location, and they allow us to walk through, and that was really nice. You know, because the the mansion has a character of itself. And I remember walking in and it's just cold, but it's not like the place is cold, but it's cold, you feel cold. And I'm like, oh yeah, this is gonna be a good one. Yeah, there's so much character in there and all the, the, the art direction that they added to that space was just so incredibly informative. And, um, you know, we were lucky to be on a top notch shift, you know, like this was a top notch of a situation where every aspect of the film was fully, fully executed in the best way possible. Yeah. So we're, we're, I, I feel very lucky to be mm -hmm. a part of it. Did you take the vampire van or anything home as a memorabilia? Oh, what did I take home? I think I took home some of Sammy's jewelry and her tattoos. They gave me like a, a bunch of extra ones and I took those home. I should wear them to the premiere. Ooh. I'm totally gonna do that now. <laughs> <laughs> How about then? I didn't. Do, I don't think I kept anything at Frank's. No, just happy not even, memories. Not even the glasses. Not even the glasses. That was a mistake. Yeah, she huge, got the glasses. Huge error. Someone's got those glasses. Anything you wouldn't want to do it again? No, I'd do it all again. Would you? Yeah, and I learned a lot. This time I'll be ready. Even swimming through the bodies? <laughs> yeah, I would do it again. I wouldn't wear the wetsuit. I okay. thought it was unnecessary. It, it, it just got full of junk and just made, yeah. weighed me down. It's pretty gross. Mm -hmm. The blood, the, the heist, the mystery, you know, blending the genres, you know, uh, and Matt and Tyler do a great job and, you know, led only by, not only by Melissa, but this scary person behind this us. This one right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Hello, Taiwan. Taiwan. How are you? If you meet Abigail, 
Just run. run. Just run. <laughs> and wherever you are, I hope there aren't any doors and windows because you're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Taiwan. Hello, Taiwan. If you meet a vampire, just try to make a friend. Rush to your local movie theater and, and hide out watching Abigail. It's the safest thing to do. Vampires like each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> run to the theater. Yes, 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 definitely. <laughs>